We all know that Loki is the god of trickery and sometimes a fan of quite funny pranks, but he also had a jealous and cruel side. But he certainly crossed the line when he tried to set up a plot against Balder, the most beloved of all the gods. And today, we will see the story of how Loki was responsible for sowing sadness in the kingdom of Asgard. This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. As we spend more and more of our time online, concerns about privacy and security becomes vital. Private Internet Access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads. They use world-class next-gen server infrastructure in over 75 countries, meaning you get a secure, reliable VPN connection anytime, anywhere. Because it changes your IP address and reroutes your internet traffic through an encrypted tunnel, Private Internet Access hides your online activity from your internet service provider, network administrator, and government sensors. Private Internet Access is the most customizable VPN on the market, allowing you to make your VPN experience truly your own. Private Internet Access is available for all platforms, Window, Mac OS, Android, Linux, iOS, and many more. Click on the link in the description and get complete digital privacy for less than $2 a month and four extra months for free means only $1.97 per month and 84% off. So sign in now for three years and get four months for free. Baldur was the son of Odin and Frigg, the supreme gods of Asgard. The god was beautiful, kind, and charismatic, and therefore loved by all. Baldur spread happiness wherever he went. The days of the gods and whoever was with him were perfect. But as night came, Baldur's happiness dissipated while he slept. His sleep was plagued by nightmares. His beloved wife Nana comforted him when he awoke frightened. No god knew the meaning of his nightmares. The wise Odin knew that, in the realm of Hell, the place where the souls of the dead who did not die an honorable death on the battlefield went, there was an oracle capable of deciphering those nightmares. Odin, disguised as a wanderer, went to the realm of the dead. After using the runes, the oracle answered, Helheim is preparing to receive Baldur. When sorrow ravages Asgard here in the realm of Hell, there will only be joy with the arrival of the spirit of the kindly Baldur. Saddened, Odin returned to Asgard and told Frigg the sad fate of his beloved son. Frigg was determined to prevent Baldur's fate. Knowing that Baldur was loved by all, the goddess demanded that everyone swear to never hurt Baldur, and so nothing could hurt the god. Even objects, plants, diseases, and weapons were pledged not to harm Baldur. Loki, the god of trickery, was envious and jealous of Baldur, but even he was compelled to take the oath. And so Baldur became invulnerable to everything. The god was safe. Baldur's invulnerability was cause for a joke among the gods. They threw objects at Baldur, but everything was deflected. Thor hit him with his powerful hammer, but Baldur felt nothing. And everyone in Asgard was happy to know that the beloved god was protected. Everyone except Loki, who was determined to find a vulnerability in Baldur. One day, in hiding, he overheard a conversation from the goddess Frigg, who told a friend that she had managed to get everyone to take the oath. Everyone except the mistletoe, a totally harmless plant. But in Loki's evil mind, the mistletoe was not so harmless. After collecting some mistletoe, he addressed the gods, who were still having fun trying to attack Baldur. Only the blind god Hode felt sad that he was excluded from the fun. How could he throw something at Baldur when he didn't even know where he was? The ingenious Loki created a dart made of mistletoe and addressed Hode, telling him that he shouldn't let his blindness stop him from playing. Loki turned invisible and guided Hode to where the other gods were. Baldur was happy to know that Hode would also participate in the game. Helped by Loki, he threw the mistletoe dart with all his might at Baldur. Hode expected to hear the laughter of the gods, 
but a great silence fell over the place. Balder had been mortally wounded. As the god's body fell to the ground, the desperate gods mourned his death. And, as was prophesied, the world of the living was plagued by sadness after the departure of the beautiful and beloved Balder. <laughs>